Hello guys and welcome to Bass Around the World episode number 22. Today we're going to play the Muse style octaves. Bass player of Muse, Chris Wolstenholmer, I have to admit I'm a huge fanboy. I love his playing and one of the reasons is because he's really digging hard you know, into bass and you can hear it. Not to mention that he is amazing uh, creatively. If you listen to Hysteria, Wow, that's that's. I think it's one of the most favorite covers, uh, you know, for the for the bass instrument, you know, on YouTube. So I'm really, really digging his style. Today we're gonna play the octaves in the song uh, "Uprising." It it sounds pretty straightforward and easy, but trust me, you will really need the stamina and work on your octave shuffle grooves, you know, to get through the song because it's more than five minutes of playing constant octaves groove. So what's going on there? We are playing in the D minor and using D minor harmonic scale progression. It's a, it's like a D minor scale, just with um, with a seventh uh, tone is raised half step up. So it's a D E F G A B flat, and now we are going for the harmonic, you know, C sharp D. I play it again really slowly. Great, love it. It has this neoclassical sound, and it was used in classical music a lot. You know, when you listen to Mozart, Bach, whatever, it's just you know, it's this sound. So let's go to the groove. We are starting on playing on D, yeah. Octaves. Uh, highly recommend it uh, using first and pinky. You know, so index and your pinky finger on the left, with the left hand. In that case, you're keeping your wrist straight. What do you do? You're just, you know, moving around easily around the fretboard. Yeah? See? My hand is kind of, it's relaxed and I don't have to struggle. If you use finger per fret system, so it means in this case I would have to play with my third and the third finger, you're just straining your wrist and it's, um, you'll get tired way easily, you know, after, after some time. So play with the index and pinky. The form uh, of the song is quite straightforward, so we play two bars of D. And we go to the 10th fret on A string, playing G. Then straight through F, which is 8th fret on A. And two bars on, on, on A, which is 12th fret on A string. One bar on G. And then we play two beats on F and two beats F sharp. And back to the D. So I play it really slowly, the whole sequence. G, F, A, two bars. One bar G, F, C sharp. Yeah. Pay attention also to the slightly shuffled groove so you don't play straight but you you shuffle it a bit you know so you're playing with a triplet feel sounds really really groovy yeah so pay attention to that there's one little detail in the in the bass line and that you are using g sharp um, passing note when you're when you're going from f to a so the the logic or the structure of the bass line is that you're playing one round we just play it together as it as it as i as i play it then in the second round we are adding the little passing g g sharp i show you where g. and 
now we are going just two beats on F, then G sharp, going to A. And then the business is usual on a D. When you listen to the original song, you'll hear that there are the passages when you're just staying on a D and just keep playing D, you know, when the octaves. And the last thing in the song, it's a really cool, I would say like a flea style um, lick, playing it here. It's in triplets, so one bar you play like this. Yeah, I'm using three finger technique. You can play two fingers with the pick, whatever. Just play triplets, you know. Okay, and then the second bar, it's... So that's the second bar. Yeah, so... All together. I'm landing on D. Yeah, I played it once more. That's the lick, yeah? These four notes are uh, within the D minor pentatonic. So this combination of harmonic structure of D minor, D harmonic minor, and this little lick is using D minor pentatonic tones. So that's it. Just have fun, listen to the original track, try to play along and work on your stamina. Chris uh, is an amazing bass player and one of his biggest strengths is his stamina. His fingers are just amazing. He can play forever those 16 notes and just never get tired. So work on it, work on this. It's really great inspiration. Have fun, see you next time.